How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to show you how to use iconography on your websites or your web applications using the Iron Icons library. So basically Iron Icons is a free and open source icon set containing over 700 icons for both the iOS and material design style. So you can choose one of these two styles and use it for your icons. So it actually comes packaged with the Ionic framework itself, but you can use it without the Ionic framework. So we're going to learn how to do that in this video. So the first thing to do is to actually install the icon set in your HTML file. So we can go to ironicons.com forward slash usage and then scroll down to the installation uh, section. We can now copy and paste this script tag inside our HTML file. So um, for this file right here, it looks like this. We can just go down here and paste it right below the finishing, sorry, uh, the end of the body tag. So now we have the icon set installed inside the HTML file. We can now use it very simply. Okay, so the way this works is that um, each icon has its own web component. So um, to use an icon below the h1 tag, we can create a new tag. It'll be the ion-icon tag. So this is a custom web component for the Iron Icon framework. So the Iron Icon um, icon set or library. Okay, so um, to specify what icon you want, you can do so using the name attribute. So inside here, we're going to type out name equal to an empty string for now. We're going to fill this with a prefix of the design to use followed by the actual icon name. So back to the Iron Icons website, we can go over to the icon section and then choose one of these icons. Let's choose the apps icon um, as an example. All right, so if I choose this, we get the name of the icon. It's called apps. So I can simply put apps inside here. So if you're using the Iron Icons um, icon set with the Ionic framework, you can simply do this and you're done. The design style is going to um, automatically be chosen based on the, um, the OS of the device it's running on. But in this video, we're looking at using it without the Ionic framework. So we have to actually specify the type of design to use. So we have we have the material design or the iOS um, design or style. So we can see the difference between these two designs right here. So to specify the actual design style, we can prefix it with either MD or iOS. So for example, let's type out MD dash apps, just like that. So now this will generate an SVG of the apps icon for a material design. So I can save this and refresh my browser and we get this right here, an SVG for the apps icon in material design. Okay, perfect. So we can simply change this to iOS to achieve the iOS version of that apps icon. I can save this and refresh and we get this right here. Okay, so pretty cool. Um, to actually uh, customize the size and the color of these icons, we can do so um, using a CSS or in the case of the, um, the size, we can use an attribute. So for example, I can say space and say size is equal to large to create a large icon. I can save this and refresh and we get a bigger icon right there. Okay, so to actually do that using CSS, it's quite straightforward as well. I'll get rid of this and go inside a new style tag and we're going to target every ion icon element inside the web page. So we'll type out ion-icon inside here we can put a font size um, property. So we can say font size and the documentation recommends you use um, font sizes in multiples of 8. So for example 8, 16, 32 or 64 and so on. So let's say 64 pixels for this particular size. 
I can save this and refresh and we get um, a much larger icon. Okay, perfect. We can also customize the color by using the CSS color property. Color and then blue. Okay, I can save this and refresh and now we get this right here. And that's how you can use the Iron Icons framework, or sorry, the Iron Icons library um, to achieve iconography inside your websites or your web applications. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.